Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hey kids, let's learn about the next part of a bacterial cell which is the flagella. So flagella as we know it is the locomotory organ of a bacteria. Okay, now when we learn about the flagella we see that this is unistranded and this unistranded flagella basically it is equivalent to a single microfibril. Okay, now here we see that the size of flagella is 20 nanometer in diameter okay and it is 1 to 7 micrometer in length all right so these are its dimensions apart from this we will see that the bacterial flagella it is composed of three parts the first part is called the basal body the second part will be called the hook and the third part is called the filament. Alright, so these are the three parts which form the bacterial flagella. Now you can observe in the figure that flagella it is present here. Okay, now first coming to the basal body, let's observe what is given there. The basal body, it is the tubular structure, it is rod like in nature. Okay, and this basal body you will find it embedded where when it is embedded in the cell envelope. Alright, this is embedded in the cell envelope. Apart from this, you will see that the basal body has some ring like swellings which are present in the cell wall and the plasma membrane. Alright, so these are the rings there are ring like swellings. Now these ring like swellings they play a very important role in understanding the bacteria because on the presence of the number of rings we can identify if a bacteria is gram positive or negative. How do we do that? Let's figure out. So here we will see the gram negative bacteria first and then the gram positive. So when you look at the gram negative bacteria, you will find out that there are present two pairs of rings. How many pairs of rings? Two pairs of rings. But in case of gram positive, there is present only one pair of rings. Alright, now coming to these two pairs, you will notice that these two pairs, first one is what you call L and P. This is the first pair and this pair is present in the cell wall. I am writing CW for it. Okay, this is the first pair which is L and P. You can observe the same in the figure as well. This L and P is embedded in the cell wall. Next pair is the S and M. S and M, this pair is present in the cell membrane. Alright, so we have seen that there are two pairs of rings present in case of gram negative bacteria in the basal body. The first pair being called LNP which is present in the cell wall and SNM which is present in the cell membrane. Alright, the second one, the gram positive bacteria when we look at it, you will observe that there is only a single pair present and this single pair is S and M. Where is it present? It is present in the cell membrane. Do remember this is very important that there are two pairs and these two pairs they help in differentiating between the gram negative and the gram positive bacteria. Alright, so this was about the first part of the flagella which we call as the basal body. Second part is the hook. Now what is hook? What is its function? We will look here. So when we learn about the hook, first of all we see that this is a short tubular structure, this is short, this is tubular, okay and it is the thickest part, it is the thickest part of our flagella, alright. Now the function of hook, what is it? The function of hook is to connect, so it connects what? It connects the 
basal body writing as bb with the filament okay so it connects this basal body with the filament and you can see in the figure as well that hook it is a curved structure okay this curved structure is short it is tubular and you see that this is the thickest part of the flagella which connects the basal body with the filament so this is all about the hook next we will learn about the filament filament is very important and we see that this filament it is found here as again tubular but it is long right it is tubular but at the same time it is long this tubular long structure it causes turbulence okay it causes turbulence where it causes this turbulence in the liquid medium okay so the filament it causes the turbulence in the liquid medium next we see that this filament it is made up of what it is made up of proteins it is made up of proteins and these are some special proteins which you call flagellin you call them flagellin now flagellin protein it is a globular protein and when we look at the figure you will see that its arrangement how it is they are arranged in we are looking at the arrangement so these are arranged in 3 to 8 rows all right so overall what we have seen we have seen that flagella has three different parts we have learned about the basal body that you can see in the figure you can see that it is rod like and on the basis of the rings present in the basal body you can say that if a bacteria is gram negative or gram positive the gram negative has two pairs of rings do remember but the gram positive has only one pair okay coming to the hook its simple function is to connect these two structures filament is very important the filament here we see that it shows a rotatory motion okay unlike in the eukaryotic cells where you see that the filament shows the whiplash movement here the flagella shows the rotatory movement in case of the prokaryotic flagella or you would say in case of the bacteria okay it is tubular it is long it causes turbulence in the liquid medium apart from that you see that it is made up of a flagellin protein this is very important for you to remember and this flagellin protein it is globular so this was all about the flagella you have seen its structure and we have learned its function as well explore more about the topics you love with topper subscribe now and keep learning